If you're someone who's been thinking about creating your own YouTube channel, but you're not quite convinced that YouTube is right for you, then watch this video. Hey guys, Craig here. Hope everybody's doing well. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name's Craig Babin, and I'm on a mission to turn my part-time drawing hobby into a full-time income. And I'm hoping that my YouTube channel inspires as many of you as possible to do the exact same thing. And speaking of you, in my last video, I held a contest to celebrate reaching my 1,000 subscriber milestone here on YouTube. And as a result of that contest, one of my lucky subscribers now has a free one-year subscription to the newest and hottest online art community, 21Draw. And that lucky person is Susan Marie from Craft Paint Create. Now Susan's getting ready to launch her own craft related YouTube channel. And after watching this video, she might even do it this year, who knows? Either way, I'm sure that that subscription to 21 Draw will definitely be useful to her along the way. So congratulations, Susan, and best of luck. And for all of you thinking about launching your own YouTube channel, stick around, because in this video, I'm gonna give you the top five reasons why you should create your YouTube channel this year. So if you're ready, let's get to it. This is not the same YouTube you grew up with. The YouTube that you started watching back in 2005 is not the same YouTube that you're watching today. Yes, you can still find videos of cats playing the piano. And yes, you can still post videos showcasing all of the dumb things you do just to make your friends and family laugh. But the YouTube platform has become so much more since Google purchased it back in 2006. And when they purchased YouTube, they applied everything they were doing with the Google search engine to YouTube as well. This is why over the past 16 years, YouTube has not only become the second largest search engine in the world, but they've also become one of the best income opportunities for both young and old entrepreneurs alike. Okay, let's just put aside for a second the fact that YouTube has over 2.3 billion users worldwide, which means that they're giving you access to a third of the world's population on one platform and that Google AdSense pays out over $10 billion a year to its content creators. Because what really differentiates YouTube from every other business opportunity out there today are the tools that they give you to run your business. There's nothing else out there that even comes close to matching the quality of the business building tools that YouTube provides for all of its content creators through the YouTube studio. Make no mistake about it. When you create your own YouTube channel, you're not just creating an account on some social media website where people post pictures of their food or random photos of their pets. You're getting into a partnership with one of the largest and most profitable corporations in the world today. And the tools that they provide you in Creator Studio, whether it be the quick glance of your channel's overall performance that you get on your channel dashboard, the tutorials provided by Creator Insider that help you to enhance the performance of your content, or the in-depth analytics that not only provide you with the metrics on how well each of your videos are performing at any given time, but they also enable you to determine the overall reach of your channel, audience engagement throughout each video, as well as up-to-date statistics on your viewer subscription status, geographical location, time of day that they're on YouTube, as well as age and gender. And if that wasn't enough, you can research far more in depth on each one of those categories along with many more simply by entering the advanced mode on your channel's analytics. Traditional companies pay statisticians hundreds of thousands of dollars every year just to get this kind of in-depth and up-to-date data. And YouTube provides all of this information to its creators absolutely free. There are very few businesses in the world where the playing field is this level. This is why it's so incredible to see YouTube make all of these tools available to all of its content creators. So whether your financial goal as a YouTuber is to make an extra two, three, or four thousand dollars per year, or make an extra two, three, four hundred thousand dollars per year, everything you need to start a professional business is right here at your fingertips. And this new business-oriented version of YouTube that you're watching today is just getting started. YouTube has the lowest startup cost of any legitimate business opportunity today. There's not another business opportunity out there today that has the potential to earn anywhere from $10,000 to $10 million per year that can be launched with practically no initial startup cost. I mean, when you think about it, all we're really doing here is making videos. Even if you don't own a camera, you probably have a cell phone that shoots video, right? Well, that'll do. Don't have professional lighting? Do you own a lamp? Pull off the shade, screw in a 100 watt bright white light bulb, and you're good to go. 
No access to video editing software? No problem. There are plenty of free downloadable software programs on the internet that you can use to edit your videos with. Hell, you can even use the Movie Maker software that comes standard with Windows if you had to. How do you make thumbnails and channel art without Photoshop? There are tons of free photo editing software programs like Photopia available online. Or you could even use a free website like Canva, which can easily take care of all your graphic design needs. Now, one of the biggest expenses with traditional business is education. If you're running a multi-million dollar company, there's a good chance that you spend a ridiculous amount of money getting a business degree first. And if you didn't pay for a college degree, then you probably interned with that company for many years for practically no salary just to get the knowledge you needed to start your own company. Which is what's so incredible about YouTube. Not only do they provide you with the tools and the platform to build your business, but the platform itself contains hundreds of thousands of videos teaching you how to do it successfully, and it's all free. Take a minute to stop and think about that. This business model is insane. You never see the business itself and the education on how to run that business being offered in the exact same spot. Try applying this model to any other business. Imagine walking into a prestigious art gallery and in between the Picasso and the Rembrandt painting, there are about five artists who have easels and blank canvases all set up and who were shouting at you as you walked by. Hey buddy, you want to learn how to paint like Picasso? Come on over here. Or imagine taking your car into the mechanic and having him call you into the garage and saying, uh, why don't you come a little closer? I'm going to teach you how to replace your fuel injection so that one day you can open up your own garage. It just doesn't happen that way in the real world, but that's exactly how YouTube operates. Whether you're just trying to supplement your income or create an entirely new life for yourself financially, you have everything you need to do it right here on YouTube and it's absolutely free to get started. The current job market is changing fast. Okay, this point is just obvious. All you have to do is walk into a grocery store or a bank to see that human manpower is slowly being replaced by computers. Self-checkouts, ATM machines, hell, Google themselves have created customer service software that is practically indistinguishable from a human operator. And once that's rolled out to the general public, how long do you think all of those call center jobs are going to last? They have transport trucks right now that are capable of driving on highways from city to city without a driver. Think of how many long-haul truck drivers are going to lose their jobs once this technology becomes mainstream. Like it or not, Technology and artificial intelligence are here to stay, and they're only going to dominate more of the job market in years to come. Major service corporations only need to hire a small group of highly paid IT professionals to maintain their software. All of the rest of their employees just have to be able to push a button. This means that there's no need for a college degree, or even a high school diploma for that matter, to do these jobs. This also means that there's no reason to pay these employees anything more than minimum wage. So if you're someone who's looking to get ahead in this world, then you need to get the hell out of this employer-employee rat race. It's time to take your financial livelihood into your own hands. So how exactly do you do that? Well, you start by taking a look at what all of the biggest corporations have in common. Whether it's Amazon, Google, YouTube, Spotify, or e-commerce platforms like Etsy, they all have one thing in common. They're all service companies who are totally dependent on creators like you and me. If there aren't any people creating products, there's no Amazon. If there aren't any authors writing books, there's no KDP. If there aren't any web developers creating websites, there's no Google. If there aren't any musicians creating music, there's no Spotify. And if there aren't any content creators uploading videos, there's no YouTube. Every single one of these billion dollar corporations is completely reliant on people who create. And the traditional social media platforms, they're on their way out. MySpace died. Facebook is dying. Twitter is dying. Tumblr is dying. Ask yourself why that is. It's because the only way to get content creators to continuously post good content is to pay them to do so. Platforms like YouTube and Spotify have already figured this out. And this is why they're both continuing to grow while every other platform slowly becomes obsolete. Make no mistake about it, YouTube and Spotify are not the only platforms that are going to adopt this business model. Any platform that wants to survive in the future will follow suit. 
And the more platforms that offer monetization options to their creators, the more competition there'll be among them. And this only leads to platforms having to offer higher compensation to retain their creators. A prime example of this is Spotify offering Joe Rogan $100 million to move his podcast content from YouTube to their platform. This type of negotiation will become common practice in the very near future. You see, the content that you create for your YouTube channel is your property. You own it. But it's not actually the content itself that's so valuable. It's the audience that comes with that content that's worth so much money. And if you were to move your content to another platform, there's a pretty good chance that your loyal subscribers would follow you there. That's why the content that you create is so valuable to platforms like YouTube and why they're willing to pay for it. Traditional online retailers are always looking for ways to promote their products to potential customers. And it just so happens that YouTube has 2.3 billion potential customers using their platform. So you can see why retailers want to advertise on YouTube so badly. And because we as content creators create content for very specific niche audiences, retailers are able to target their advertising to only those people who would potentially be interested in their products. This gives them a far better return on their advertising dollar, which is why they're willing to pay more money to advertise on multi-niche platforms like YouTube. The more money retailers are willing to pay to advertise, the more money we make as content creators. And I'm not just talking about the ads at the beginning of YouTube videos. I'm also referring to the advertising income generated by sponsorships and affiliate programs. As small as my channel is, I'm contacted at least once a week by companies wanting to access my audience. And that's all of you. I'm being pitched constantly to promote their products in exchange for financial compensation. Now to be honest, I turn down about 95% of them. And it's for many different reasons. It's usually because I don't think that their product is a good fit for my channel. But sometimes I reject their offers because I just don't see the value in their product and wouldn't be comfortable recommending it to all of you. But every once in a while, I'll get a pitch from a company whose product aligns with my channel's goals. One example of this is BookBolt. They contacted me a while back asking me if I'd be interested in partnering with them. They gave me a free lifetime subscription to their website and asked me to test out their software to see if I thought it would be suitable for my audience. Now at that time, I had been getting a lot of questions in my comments section from viewers asking me if there was a way to create low content books even if you didn't have access to design software. When I tested out BookBolt's website, not only did they have the tools that could create low content books, but they also had the research aspect to their site as well, which is so crucial to being successful in low content book publishing. So it was pretty much a perfect fit. So about two months ago, I created a video for my channel teaching viewers how to use the BookBolt software. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. And that video has been paying me commissions ever since. The number one commodity in the world today is information. This is what makes the YouTube platform so successful. We as humans need to keep our brains healthy, strong, and occupied. And we do that by constantly taking in new information every day. This is one of the reasons that I'm always listening to audiobooks. Whether I'm drawing, looking for artistic reference for a new piece I'm working on, or just editing my next YouTube video, I always have an audiobook playing in the background. And I do that with my subscription to Audible. For just $7.95 per month, you can get access to the entire Audible Plus catalog, which includes thousands of audiobooks, Audible exclusives, and podcasts that you can listen to at any time and there's no restriction on how many audiobooks you can listen to each month. All you have to do is log into your Audible account and start listening. If you'd like to strengthen your mind with audiobooks, you can get a free 30-day trial subscription just by clicking on the Audible affiliate link that I've placed in the description section of this video. There's no long-term obligation and you can cancel your subscription at any time. If you pick up just one new habit this year, let it be something that enriches your mind. And there's no better way to do that than with Audible. Give it 30 days. Trust me, you won't regret it. Did you see what I just did there? As a YouTube content creator, I'm able to give all of you a 30-day free trial subscription to an incredible service that I myself have used for years and that I would recommend to anyone. And in exchange, Amazon pays me a small commission for getting you to sign up to that free trial. That income, in combination with other income streams, allows me to continue creating free content, like this video you're watching right now, for all of you. And promoting a sponsored product in your video is that simple. And this is just one more way to make money with your YouTube channel. 
This type of financial partnership between creators and service companies is quickly becoming the way of the future. This is exactly the opportunity that most of us creators have been searching for our whole lives. Nobody wants to be stuck in a low-paying, dead-end job that they hate for the rest of their lives. People want to be able to express themselves creatively and want to be able to afford a decent lifestyle while doing it. YouTube is that opportunity. And the only question you need to answer is, when do you want to get started? And the answer to that question is right now. And here's why. Building a YouTube channel takes time, so start now. I've said it before and I'll say it again. YouTube is not a get-rich-quick opportunity. It takes a long time to build a YouTube channel that can successfully provide you with a sustainable passive income every month. There are growth stages that every YouTube channel goes through, regardless of what type of content you're posting. In the beginning, all you're focused on is getting subscribers. And to get subscribers, you first need to understand the reason why people subscribe to any particular YouTube channel. And it's usually because that they've watched a video from that channel and liked it so much that they visited the channel's homepage to see what other videos were available to watch. Now when they get to that homepage, if the channel only has a few videos on it, that viewer can easily watch all of the videos in one sitting. So there's really no reason to subscribe. But if that channel has a lot of content on it, then the viewer has no other option than to come back at a later time to watch the rest of the videos. And so that they don't forget where the channel is, they subscribe to it. And this is why the rate at which you acquire new subscribers tends to increase exponentially as your library of video content grows larger and larger. The more content you have, the faster you gain subscribers. The more subscribers you have, the more views you get, the more watch time you get, and the more potential you have to generate income on your channel. So you need to look at being a YouTuber as kind of like being an investment banker. Every video that you create and upload to your content library is an asset, and each video has its own monetary value. Now there are a few different factors that determine a video's value. So let's start by talking about all of the monetization methods that YouTube has for your videos. This includes advertising, premium subscriptions, super chats, super stickers, and more. There's a metric that YouTube uses called RPM, which stands for revenue per mil. And this number is the amount of money YouTube pays you for every 1,000 views that you get on your videos. This dollar amount varies depending on multiple factors, including the type of content or subject matter that your videos are covering. And that dollar amount can range anywhere from a dollar per thousand views at the low end to a hundred dollars or more per thousand views at the high end. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of potential when it comes to your video's RPM. Now some other income generating tools that make your videos more valuable are sponsored promotions, affiliate commissions, and personal products that you create to sell to your audience, like eBooks, downloadable files, merchandise, online courses, and so on. Remember that BookBolt video I was telling you about just a minute ago? Not only does that video have an affiliate income stream attached to it, but it also has a product income stream as well. After reviewing BookBolt, I found that their software was lacking a few things, so I created a downloadable file that would fill in that gap. A file that I sell for $3 and that I make available to my viewers in the description area of that video. Now that product income stream, just like my affiliate income stream, has been generating revenue for me for the past few months and will continue to do so well into the future. And that's not even including the income that the video will start generating from my ad revenue once my YouTube channel has been monetized. So as you can see, each video's monetary value really comes down to how many income streams that video is being monetized with. Some videos generate a lot of revenue, while others generate very little. The better quality of videos you make, the more profitable they'll be to your channel over time. Good content attracts a loyal audience, and a loyal audience is very valuable to you in the long run. And to create good videos takes time. I don't care who you are, chances are your first videos are going to suck. This isn't my first attempt at a YouTube channel. I had a channel back in 2015, and trust me, some of those videos were brutal. Back then, my videos contained more hair, no script, very little editing, and a lot of rambling. Check this out. Tutorials that we're following. Uh, this particular video is going to be a tutorials to watch. Now I couldn't actually find a tutorial that's on the subject matter that I want to talk about today, so I'm kind of going to do this one um, my, um, myself. Um, but I will actually give you a tutorial to. If I'm being honest, that's kind of hard for me to watch. But that's okay. Creating those really crappy videos in the beginning is how I got better, and that's how you'll get better too. 
Now, if the reason you're waiting to start your YouTube channel is so that you can plan out every single detail of every video, then you are going to waste a whole lot of your time because you will never know which of your videos are going to work until you post them. Trust me, the videos that you think are going to go viral are probably going to bomb. And the ones you think are nothing more than filler for your channel will probably take off. Don't make the mistake of planning out your content too far ahead. You need the feedback from your audience as well as your analytics to grow your channel successfully. And it's for all of these reasons that you need to start your channel as soon as possible. You have a lot to learn about creating content on YouTube. And you also have a lot of mistakes that you need to make before you can create that YouTube channel and the passive income that you've been dreaming about. So stop procrastinating and just get started. Trust me, you'll be thankful that you did. Create the life you want at your own pace and on your own terms. Look, YouTube is not just about making money. In fact, if the only reason that you want to start a YouTube channel is to make more money, then chances are you're probably going to fail. Being a part-time YouTube content creator can be a lot of work, especially when you factor in all of the things that you're doing to generate income outside of the YouTube platform. And the reality of it is, you probably won't make very much money for at least the first few years. If I could put one caveat onto this whole business YouTube opportunity, it would be don't do it unless you truly love doing it. Now, I don't know what the minimum wage is where you live, but where I live, it's about $15 an hour. And you can go and get a crappy job that you hate and get paid $15 an hour anytime you want. So if you don't like creating content for YouTube and you're not making any money at it, there's no way in hell that you're going to keep doing it for more than a few months. Yes, YouTube can help you create the income and the lifestyle you've always dreamed of. But make no mistake about it, you're going to have to roll up your sleeves and put in the work for quite a while before you ever see any substantial results. So if it's that much work, then why do it? You do it because the type of income that you're creating for yourself on YouTube is passive income, as opposed to active income, which is when you trade your time for money. You see, with passive income, you do something once and then you get paid for doing it over and over and over for life. As I said earlier, every video you upload to your channel library has a monetary value. And once you've uploaded that video, you will continue earning income from it year after year for the rest of your life. So the more videos that you add to your library, the more your income will continue to increase as time goes on. Whether you're talking about YouTube ads, percentage sponsorships, affiliate commissions, merchandise, self-published books, or educational downloads, everything that you create will continue to generate income for you for the rest of your life. You see, once you create a video and tie some form of income stream to it, the only thing left to do now is get it in front of as many people as possible. And that just happens to be something that YouTube is really good at doing. And the reason I said create the life that you want at your own pace, on your own terms, is because there's no expiry dates on this opportunity. And there are no quotas either. There will never be any demands for you to build your channel any faster than what you're capable of. The ultimate goal as a YouTube content creator is to share your vision through video uploads so that you can touch, educate, influence, and inspire as many people as possible. If you're a creative person, there is no other business opportunity out there quite like this one. And all you need to do to get started is hit record. I really hope that this video is able to inspire or motivate at least a few of you to start your own YouTube channel this year. Of all the videos that I've watched interviewing successful YouTubers, it seems like the one regret that they all have in common is that they waited too long to get started. Don't let that be your regret. Now, if you like this video and would recommend it to somebody else, then please consider giving it a thumbs up. That one little action goes a long way to helping me grow my channel. Now, if you're new to my channel and you're not quite sure what it's all about, be sure and check out my playlist on how to monetize your hobby. You can find a link to it right here. Until next time, take care.